there is a type of structure that is better than another type of structure. And there's a structure that's best. Now, if you can answer all three of those, that's a trifecta for May 1. <laughs>may one my goodness look at the picture look at the picture the water looks a little bit like it looks behind me but the mountains certainly don't look the same do they but we have mountains right here i'm right in the middle of the arbuckle mountains but isn't that pretty isn't that pretty may one may one all right we're reading from a catch a better life book on the catch a better life channel by jimmy houston on youtube if you're not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel right now it will absolutely change your life for the better i wrote this book took me two years to write it it's got a scripture for every single day it's got a fishing tip for every single day and a devotional built around fishing we read them every day here if you want your own copy you can get it from jimmyhouston.com bass pro cabela's hobby lobby barnes and noble books a million all those type places if you want it personalized and autographed, uh, jimmyhouston.com. We'll do it for you. Just let us know who you want it to, and we'll take care of that for you. Let's see what I wrote for May 1. And by the way, I read these. I don't read them ahead of time, so I mess them up a little bit. But May 1, we're looking at the Job, the book of Job 42.6. Job, the guy that had the biggest problems of anybody in the world. And Job says, therefore, I abhor myself, and I repent in dust and in ashes. I just hate myself, and I repent, dear Lord, in dust and in ashes. When things went bad back in the old days, people would sit in the dust and cover themselves with dirt and ashes, and they would rip their clothing, and they felt so bad that he hated himself so bad because he had been afflicted so bad in his life. Here's what I wrote about that. Oh, mercy. My greatest disappointment in tournament fishing was the Super Bass Tournament event on Chickabaga Lake. As a BASS tournament, they called them Super Bass, Super Bass Tournaments. And they gave away more money. They, they gave away $100,000, and most of the tournaments back then were only paying like thirty dollars or $40,000. Chickamauga Lake, Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's one of the, the, uh, the river lakes uh, built on a chain of rivers there, navigable. Chattanooga, Tennessee, I failed to win the tournament when I should have easily won. I had the fish to win, I had the technique to win. I caught the fish enough to win until the last day. On the final tournament day, we were not allowed to lock down the river as I had throughout the tournament. The final, the fourth day of the tournament, third or fourth day, I think we fished four days in that super bass tournament, I could not lock through. They didn't allow me because they were having a boat race there in Chattanooga, and the tournament official just simply made a decision that you couldn't lock through. It was legal the rest of the tournament, and I had a big bunch of fish down there that I was whacking whacking, whacking on a red man spinnerbait. I was so down. I was so disappointed, even after winning the biggest prize of the year. You see, I won the angler of the year the first three days of that tournament. Before the last day, they didn't count the last day. They counted the day when everybody was fishing, and I scored enough points to win the angler of the year. If I remember correctly, it was Denny Brower that I had to beat out. Denny Brower, great tournament fisherman from Missouri, lives in Texas now, actually from Nebraska. <laughs> great tournament fisherman, though. But I beat him out for Angler of the Year title. So I had won the biggest prize of the entire year, something that I really, really, really wanted. I didn't really set out to win Angler of the Year that year. I'd won it before. Didn't really care about winning it again, but I was so close after four or five tournaments that I, I, I actually – I actually pre-fished one of the tournaments and, and because I was just, uh, Chris said, you need to go pre-fish, which I don't do. I don't, that's going like a couple, two, three weeks ahead of time, spending three or four days on the lake. I don't do that. Most of the guys do, but I just don't do it. But uh, she said, you need to go pre-fish. You, you can win angle of the year. And I said, I don't care if I win angle of the year. And she said, you're up there pretty close. You better care. <laughs> and she uh, kind of goaded me on. I went pre-fished the last couple of lakes and, and ended up, ended up winning angle of the year. Chris corrected my thinking, but here's the most important part. She corrected my heart. I was so disappointed, so upset, so mad at the world. And she corrected my heart when she told me, she said, Jimmy, you won the most coveted prize in bass fishing, the Angler of the Year title, the BASS Angler of the Year title, the most coveted prize. Doesn't pay the most money, Bassmaster Classic does, but 
he had won that, and here you are acting like a dummy, moping around here, complaining, griping. In today's scripture, Job had been corrected, not by Chris, but by God, by God. He was still a broken and sick man, very broken, very sick. He was destitute. He was ashamed. He was humiliated. He had lost his sons and daughters. He had lost all his wealth. He had lost his friends. All he had left really was his wife and his God and his God. He realized that God was still real and God was his only hope. Can I tell you, when things are going wrong in your life, even if it's not your fault, and it wasn't Job's fault here, repent of any sin that you have. If you've got something bad happening in your life, you just start thinking about the sins you have. You repent of those sins and you watch God. You watch God start making things better. That's the God that you and I serve. That's the God that you and I serve. Our tip for today, this is a hard one. If anybody got this right, you ought to win something. <laughs> you ought to win something. Natural structure, natural structure, such as rocks, brush, ditches, and channel swings are generally better than man-made structure. So that's two kinds of structures that are good. Natural cover, man-made structure. Man-made structure like rip wraps, bridges, bridges, boat docks, man-made structure. Natural cover, generally better. Random cover is the best. You see what I'm saying? Random cover. You pull into a pocket and there's one boat dock on it. You're going down a bank, you see one log laying there. You pull up on an area and there's a handful of rocks that are coming off down into the water. A little short rip wrap, not a big giant long rip wrap. Random cover is usually the best. Natural cover, better than man-made cover. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. You make the day, the day does not make you. And remember, I sure do love you.